begin. Welcome, spring students, to the 2020-21 school year. And it is going to look a little different. So Kayla here had a few questions for the superintendent. So we thought if she had questions, you all have questions too. So that's why we have this video. Hi, how are you? I'm excited to go back to school, but I have some questions. Okay. I've heard that we'll be doing cohorts. What does that mean? Oh, very good question. So what the Department of Health said was very important was that we take children and put them into groups. You might have heard the word pods, or think of a family. When you were in um, quarantine, your family was fine. You could take your mask off, right? Because you were in your little family. So our classes, average size, maybe 22. So when you put them in a cohort, there's only 11. And you can do social distancing, the six feet apart that you see here. And it's called a hybrid model. So we could not put 11 children in a classroom and come to school every day. We're just not big enough to do that. But we can do two days in and two, two or three days remote. And then maybe we'll change that up and do three days in and two days remote. So it's all a very fluid process. I heard that we will be, oh, how many kids will be in our class? So anywhere from nine to 11, there won't be any classes bigger than 11 on the cohorts. Do we have to wear a mask all day? Another great question. So even though we're six feet apart, the Department of Health says again that it's best to keep our mask on when we're inside. But we're also going to give children a chance to take their mask off and go outside as much as possible, open our windows, okay and get that fresh air in so and of course when you eat lunch you're not gonna have your mask on if you eat snack you're not gonna have your mask if you have to drink water you're not gonna have your mask okay do we have to take our temperature before going to school you should so every um parent is going to receive what's called a health questionnaire every staff member receives a health questionnaire so before i come to school every day i fill out this health questionnaire and it asks me if my temperature is over 100. If it is, they're recommending that I stay home. Because a temperature usually means that something is wrong in our body. Doesn't mean we have COVID, it just means that our body is fighting something and telling us we need to take care of ourselves. Will we have to use hand sanitizer? Wow, we just put hand sanitizers in all of our classrooms. So you can see it over there. So that when you walk into the classroom, you should definitely use your hand sanitizer. Before you eat lunch, you should definitely have used the hand sanitizer. When you're in the bathrooms, you can use soap and water. They're recommending that when you wash your hands, you cover your hands, your wrists, your fingers, you know, go like this. Sing happy birthday to yourself. That's about 20 seconds. And um, wash and use the hand sanitizer as often as possible, okay? Can I bring my own hand sanitizer? Absolutely can. And you can bring those on the bus too. At first they told us we couldn't put them on the bus, but now they're telling us that small amounts are fine to go on the buses. What kind of things can I do with my friends at recess? I was just talking to Mr. King and he's working on some very good activities for recess and for phys ed that doesn't involve contact. Okay, um, one of the things we did is we bought hula hoops. We bought enough that, you know, you guys can go out there and have your own space outside. And a hula hoop, remember, is like 36 inches. So if each one has a hula hoop on, then you're definitely six feet apart. You can think, imagine that. What will PE phys ed look like? Our phys ed? Um, department is working on activities. They're thrilled with the small groups because they think they can do a lot more skills with a small group. Remember, we used to put four phys ed classes in our gym. Now you can't put four in our gym. So for the most part, you are going to be outside for phys ed and each have your own phys ed teacher. 
So think about working in a group of 11, how much you can probably learn. So a lot of skills, but a lot of fun. You know, they make it always interesting. Just not a lot of sharing of materials because you can't really share a ball. But you know our department. They're going to be super, super creative. And they're going to look to you guys for some ideas and suggestions too. Yeah. Can I share supplies or like a snack with my friends? No. See those bins over there? You're each going to receive one of those bins in school and you're going to have supplies that we give you here at school. The supply list that's on the website for each grade is for parents to buy and keep at home. The only thing we want our students to bring to school is headphones because you're going to be working on your, in your Chromebook. So we want you to have the ability to listen to a book on your Chromebook or do a lesson on your Chromebook. But all the other supplies are your supplies. Do not share. Do not share snack. Okay, it's gonna. I know you're you're our kindness queen. Um, you thought of the buddy benches, and it, it's going to be different. We can still show that we care. We just can't share. Do I have to do everything on the computer, or can I read a real book, or do we do math or something in like a paper? You can absolutely read a book. So the library program is going to push into classrooms. She's going to determine what you want to read, make some suggestions. So maybe she'll bring you two or three and you'll choose one. When you return the library books, they have to sit for almost 48 hours. So they have to sit before someone can touch the book. Your math, you're still going to do um, go math and have a workbook. But that workbook might be kept at home versus in school or maybe kept just in school. We don't want you going back and forth with too much stuff from home to school. So that's why it's, it's separate. But yet you gotta be prepared for remote learning at home should we have to go into full remote learning. So that Chromebook should go back and forth with you every day. Do we get to have lockers? Nope, no lockers. They're gonna start to put the zip ties on the lockers because they don't want something called congregating or commingling. So you're going to come in, and if you have a backpack, you're going to put it on the back of your chair. You're not going to have a, a place to hang your coat because we don't want your coat touching somebody else's coat. Okay? So this is kind of your, your space. You can get up in your space and walk around your space. Take your stuff underneath. These desks are the old desks. They're called slight desks. And this is what, when I went to school, I was sitting in these. So all our flexible seating and furniture that we bought is all being stored away for that day that we can come back and work together and cooperatively. What will band chorus look like? Wow. I haven't even thought about band and chorus yet. We know we can't play a horn instrument, but we can play some other instruments that don't require us to blow air. Okay, just like we took the blow dryers out of the bathrooms. We can't use those either because it's circulate through air. Chorus is another one that they more or less told us to wait on, see how things go. I can see chorus being something that we do in very small groups and we do outside when we get the okay from the Department of Health that it's safe to do so. So initially we won't have the, the band with the brass instrument We'll have different types of instruments, and then eventually we'll be doing singing. So that means we'll, we'll be able to do like band in your, like not room, but like how you did it for the teaching plan in your, like the teacher when you put out an assignment and you have like people playing doing it? If we end up on full remote, that could happen, but right now in school, their schedules are pretty full, so they're not gonna be doing any remote, phys ed, art, music, all of that's going to take place in person when you guys are here. Okay. Can I drink from the water fountain or do I have to bring my own water bottle and use that way? Great question. So we have what's called water filling stations. So the water fountain attached to that has been turned off. So they can fill their own water bottle or they can fill a cup to get water. Okay, so you just can't drink from the water fountain. Another safety precaution. Will the hot lunches still be in the 
taken. That's another thing. I'm going to have to wait and see what happens because remember, we're trying to reduce the number of people in the building. We're trying to reduce the things that come from the outside in. But what the general store has agreed to do is make lunches in the morning for you to pick up if you want to have like a sandwich. So it won't be hot, but it'll be something from the general store, especially if the parents are running late and you've got to make lunch, they'll be able to order something, but they have to pick it up before you come into school. Can I walk with my little brother or little sister and my niece? And can I walk them to their classes? I would like you to do that. We're gonna follow um, arrows into the building. So let's say you're going to what, kindergarten? Okay, um, if he's in the kindergarten classroom here, that'll be okay for you to do. Drop him off at the door, but not go in. But if he's in the SYA building, then you're not gonna be able to get out of the car to yeah. walk him into the building. Are these little classrooms, um... Do you know who his teacher is? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on, on where he is. You know? That's in the building. Yeah. So you could drop them off at the door and then go to class. That'll be a big help. Yeah. Can I still ride my bike or walk to school? Yes, you can. You gotta follow all the procedures, okay? Wear a helmet, park your bike in the bike rack, and be sure that you're social distancing when coming in that you don't gather with all the other walkers coming in. We will not be gathering early in the morning. So don't get here much before 8.20 because you're not going to be allowed in the building until 8.20 to go straight to your classroom. What will the buses look like? Our buses are going to be loaded from the back to the front. A mask will be required. Siblings are encouraged to sit together, okay? When they get off the bus, you're going to get off from the front to the back. And before you get on the bus, your temperature is going to be taken by a bus monitor. That bus monitor is also going to ensure that you're wearing your mask the whole time that you're on that bus ride. You're a monitor already in sixth grade? I was a monitor last year. Well, we're going to start with um, our bus monitors that we've hired and see how that goes. But it's a very good suggestion. I just don't think we want eighth graders taking children's temperature at this time. But, um, but yes, we all have to take responsibility for wearing our masks. And do you know why that's so important, Kelly? Because the mask that helps so that you don't Right, so when we wear our mask, we're actually protecting everybody else. People think we're protecting ourselves, but we're actually protecting everybody else. So you're actually being kind, you're being considerate, and you're being respectful when you wear your mask. So that's real important. While we're on masks, I wanted to show you some things that are not acceptable. So this is a bandana. You might see some people wearing those in the store, but they're not approved for the school. This one I bought it for myself, and I really like it, but you can't wear these in school either, okay? And then the last one are these ones with a little vent in them. And as you can see, if you don't put a filter in it, you really are not doing any good because it's open, okay? So the best type of mask are like what you have on and I have on. And then if you should forget your mask, we have these to give out. And these are the ones that they will have for the buses too if you forget your mask. The other thing we bought that I don't have with me is a lanyard, something like this, that you will all get. So when you want to take your mask break, you just put it in there, right there, so you know where it is. Can we buy our own lanyard? Sure can, just make sure that 
they break away. Because if you get it caught on the door or something, I don't want you choking. Okay, so that would be break away lanyards. Is it also do on the entrance door? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's another good suggestion. So, you, and, what, and what's there? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, right? Hand sanitizers that you buy, the ones by the door, the ones in the hallway, in the offices. How many times are you going to use your hand sanitizer? When are you going to use your hand sanitizer? All the time. All the time. But definitely, before any, Definitely before you eat. Definitely going to wash your hands when you go to the bathroom. Um, I think when you come in from outside, if you touched anything outside, you should definitely wash your hands. But that hand sanitizer, the only time you're really going to leave your classroom is for those mass breaks and for phys ed. Art, music, you're in sixth grade, you're going to have um, Spanish, technology. You're not changing classrooms next year. The teacher is coming into this room. So this is your homeroom class, and then the teachers will come here versus you going and changing classes. And again, you know what our halls, hallways were like before the pandemic. Oh, God. Okay? <laughs> we can't have you all in the hallways. It's just that we would not be following the rules. That's not socially distancing. As much as we'd like to think we could do that, we can't do that. Even in the fifth grade, there's only four classrooms. It was still like the enemy's lockers are not this far apart. Well, mostly what we have outside. We have a brand new building going up. Yeah. So we're excited about that, but that's a that's a year away before we have more space. So we're just gonna have to get used to the new normal. What will school look like for the little kids? Well, I think having older siblings help them find their way to the class is going to be really helpful. I think some of our teachers have already decorated their classrooms and laminated things so that when they come in to spray at night, they're going to clean everything, but then they're going to spray everything and they're going to let that spray sit for a little while before they wipe it. And that kills the germs. Our Little ones also are going to get like bins like this, but their bins may have things to play with. And then on Friday, the things that they were playing with will be put out to be sprayed so that on Monday, a different child could play with what they were playing with. So rather than us sharing something every day, we may play with the same thing for a couple of days, let it sit before somebody else plays with it. So that's different. You know, sometimes we like to share puzzles and, you know, the steam bins and work together, but we're not going to be able to do that. But we can all take turns using it as long as we let it sit for 48 hours. Would Poppy be able to wear like summer Poppy or long short now, Bonkers on, like the little plastic toys? So would he be able to bring them in and for play at recess with? Yes, and put them in his bin. Only he can play with it. He can't share them with somebody else. We're going to space children apart, so you know we can't come into the building like we used to. You know how we used to take the kids off the buses, everybody all at once? So 
when the buses come in, we're going to let them get off bus by bus by bus. And the same thing to load the bus. You're taking the bus home every day, right? Yes. We're going to call the buses, but only that bus can come down. We're not going to call the next bus until you guys are all loaded, locked and loaded, and, and go away. So it's going to take us a long time to get children in in the morning. That's why arrival is from 820, and class really doesn't start till 855. And then at the end of the day, we're going to start dismissal at 245, so that we're done here by 320 the latest. You said that we would be loading the buses from the back of the bus. I know, like last year, it was eighth graders had to sit in the back, and kindergartners had to sit in the front. Would it be the same? No, it's not. So there could be a kinder kindergartner in the back. That kindergartner that gets picked up first is going to be sitting in the back. So it would be the first stop would be sitting way in the back. So I know I'm one of the last stops on my bus. So we would be sitting, the main happy would be sitting close to the front of the Correct. bus. Correct. So you'll be the last ones on and the first ones off. So that you're not passing one another. So the, what would it be that there's like one, like you sit here and space sit? What would it be sit for distancing? No. We're requiring masks on the bus, but we're not able to social distance. If we try to do social distancing on the bus, we'd be lucky if we got 22 children on the bus. So. I saw, like, I was looking, I don't know, before, but I was looking at, like, what teachers have already gone back to school, and there was this cool little, like, put on the website where the bus assistants, and it was, they could fit, they could fit, like, you would sit here, 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 here. You would fit five five groups of people and they would have to, and they had to do multiple trips because they didn't have enough space on the bus to because they were required to social distance on their bus. So the way the Department of Health required it is mandatory to wear masks, may social distance. Yeah, this but like the school required them to yes. wear masks. Yes. Just like we're requiring masks in school and social distancing. We're requiring both because again, we're indoors. We had outdoor classrooms, which some schools like in Florida do, they may not require them to wear masks because they're outside. But social distancing would still be required. Yes. I was talking to my cousin, she lives in Mississippi, and um, her numbers are as high as they were never as high as ours got. And she said that when they went, she went to Mexico I think last week, and she said that they had to wear masks, but they weren't, at, they were three feet apart. And um, if you did two quarantines before you went to school, like there was proof that you did not see anyone and they were in your house, no, didn't have, or I feel like you could take mask breaks inside of the classroom, but because she didn't do that, she couldn't take mask breaks. Okay, we're gonna but she said that it's perfectly amazing for her school. How long have they been back? everybody safe, yeah. teachers and students. So we're just excited to have you all back in spring school. Do you have any other questions for me? No? Are you excited? Anything else that you want to tell uh, the Springs community? No? All right, thank you guys. Can't wait to see you.